Hey, good morning and welcome back to Slow Sewing Sunday. So yeah, this is another video where I'm just gonna basically show you clips from the entire week. I've definitely gotten some progress done, definitely have quite a ways to go. So um, this is basically the, the countdown to DC Frocktails. Um, <clears throat> so really excited about that. So to give a little background, it's an event in DC. I think they hold it uh, once a year, but they hold in other major cities too, where like makers in the community and surrounding areas get together, hang out, chill out, whatever. So, you know, I think it's just one of those things where it's kind of goes without saying that you, whatever you, you wear that night is something that you made. So I've made plenty of things, but would like to wear something new, you know, how we, how we are. Um, <laughs> But I've already decided that, um, you know, if I don't make the deadline, I'll just, I'll just wear something that I've made, you know, pretty recently. Um, probably be the a Nico dress that I made and all, um, anyway, that doesn't matter. We're focusing on this. Um, so this morning I'm actually focusing a little bit on cutting out the rest of the pieces, which I feel like I should really have that done by today. I would... I'm hoping that by this evening, I am at least pinning and starting the sewing process. Um, but yeah, so lots of progress again made this week, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hey, it's present day me again. I decided to add a little bit of commentary to some of these clips because they can be, I guess it's a little monotonous even though they're sped up. Um, and I just haven't decided to put any music behind anything. So, you know, beginning stages of any project, just opening up the tissue paper, analyzing what you exactly need to cut out for your speci specific view. I'm doing view B for the most part. It's basically the short sleeves but I'm actually doing the pant length of view A. So I don't want a cropped length right now, especially for winter, but I just think it'll look nicer anyway with like boots or something. So I would prefer a longer uh, pant leg. Um, and yeah, um, no PDF for me this time. I actually did order the pattern, which I've been doing a lot more lately because it just feels like if I did the PDF, it's like, did I actually buy the pattern? Where is the pattern? <laughs> Now, this is a step I feel like I don't see a lot of people doing, and I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I just feel remiss if I, especially if I am using an actual, um, you know, pattern that came out of the, the envelope, I just feel like I should be <laughs> ironing it just because it just gets such a folded mess and I just want to make sure, and maybe that's the perfectionist in me talking, but I just want to make sure that the fabric is laid out as best it, as it can and the tissue paper is as laid out as best it, as it can. So I always usually take, oh, just a warm iron, a warm dry iron and um, iron out the fabric tissue first. You know, when I have the headphones on that it starts getting serious, but look at me go like, I am like actually like killing it on a Tuesday night. Um, after work, usually I'm just like, I don't feel like doing anything, but um, I just felt very focused because I was like, I just need, if I can just get her off of this part, because I think this is usually the the, the part that I'm just like, if, if I could just get started, I'm usually okay through the rest of the process. You know, the momentum kind of keeps me going, but uh, yeah, this is me obviously cutting everything out and I cut extremely slowly. So this has been sped up 20X, so you could just imagine <laughs> how slow your girl is so yeah I think this was the last thing I completed on Tuesday night So on this day, I came straight home from work and started immediately 
on uh, laying out the pattern. I think I had just a lot of motivation from the night before, cutting out all, all the pieces. So today the focus was just trying to make sure to be a little more conservative, probably follow the, the pattern cutting layout. Um, I usually don't follow that, but because this is a new pattern to me, it has a lot of pieces. And also to the width of this fabric is just so much uh, smaller than what I'm used to. It's 43 inches on the bolt. I'm usually used to things that are like 55 to 60 inches. So I just wanted to be mindful that I could fit all the things. Also too, I started also thinking about, um, you know, am I going to use this patchwork everywhere as far as like on some of the pockets and things? I'll get into that later because that started being, um, I started exploring some of those options as well. So I'm starting to lay out the pattern pieces on my fabric, you know, just some initial pinning. Um, and I figured because there are just so many pieces and whatnot, and I usually don't work with this smaller width of fabric, and I know it's four yards, so it's quite generous, but I don't know. Also, I haven't really done many closet case patterns. So, I figured I would actually like follow the diagram to, to actually pin it. But um, I also had an idea that I was like, well, I think because this is a patchwork, it may look kind of odd when I start putting some of the pockets and stuff on. I mean, it would be, it could be fine, but I don't know. For so for a cleaner look, I, I figured maybe I would actually, um, contrast it with uh, some black denim or black canvas. So I have some black canvas scraps, but uh, now that I'm like looking at all the things that I would actually contrast, it's actually quite a lot of pieces. So I know I have too much fabric of the denim. Yeah, I just have way too much. So now I'm just like, I'm just gonna lay it out however I want to because I realize I'm gonna have an overage. But now that also means that I'm going to I'm using quite a lot of the black, so I don't have enough that much um, black canvas, which it's a little thick anyway. Um, so I have black linen though. So that's what I'm gonna use for the pockets. Yeah, the hip pockets, back pockets, I guess, the front pockets here, and I think the under part of the collar, so. Um, yeah, so I do have, I know I have enough of the black. I'm just hoping that it won't overwhelm and do too much, but I think it should be fine. We're just gonna, nobody's gonna get hurt, so we're just gonna try it out, see what happens. I also forgot to mention, it's gonna be, uh, the belt also too is gonna be black, so Again, hopefully it won't overwhelm, but it should be fine. I think it'll look kind of cool. So, yeah. We carry on. I just need to get this off my chest. I, I, I decided I'm not going to use the black linen. One, I don't feel like washing it. Two, I don't want the linen to be paired with the, the denim because they, wa they wash and wear so differently. Um, and I actually think it, pro and also too, if I use the black linen, I feel like those accents will really pop out and that's not, I just want to kind of go with this patchwork denim thing. So. I've decided that I'm going to um, just use denim scraps. Whatever scraps that I have that I can find, I have plenty of scraps. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do instead. <sighs> yeah, just what a difference one night of sleep makes. <laughs> so I'm on my little lunch break lunch break uh i ate like a late 
breakfast of leftover ravioli and I probably should have done that. It's okay. <laughs> but they they may have sat out a little long last night. I don't know. Don't worry about that part. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm at work, but I'm following the advice of someone else that was like, um, it was another person on Instagram, somebody in the sewing community, I don't forget, I don't remember who, but uh, they were like, well, aren't you working from home? And, I, and I'm like, yeah, because a lot of days I do. Because I, the whole thing was, I was complaining about not having enough time to sew. And she's like, well, aren't you working from home? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do, you know, at times or whatever. And she's like, well, and in my mind, I'm like, <gasps> you know, but it's like, we all deserve breaks. I'm saying this out loud because I'm telling myself this. We all deserve breaks. So, you know, I could easily go outside for a walk and it's like rainy and cold. I don't want to do that. Or I could catch up with Evelyn on the internet. Don't don't look at don't look at. Um... Oh, are my anyway? Sorry, I got distracted on my glasses. I think they're trying to transition um, because the window's open, even though there's really no sun out. But anyway, yeah, and so I'm just getting a little more pinning done. Um, but yeah. Mhm. Mm sorry, chaotic as usual. Um, yeah, also. <laughs> Because I was watching Evelyn on the internet. If y'all have never seen a video of hers, probably one of the funniest. She she cracks me up first of all, and she doesn't um, upload like a lot a lot. But um, there's a video of hers that every now and then I just have to go watch. It's probably from like three years ago, and I'm gonna leave a link for it for it. Um, she does this segment called Smack Your Lip, which is basically like. She will um, eat or drink different things like in front of you, in front of you on camera and then basically rate it, you know. Uh, so the the most recent one she's doing now, she's like, I think she is of Kenyan descent. So she's in Kenya right now. So she's doing like these videos of like rating their snacks. So I'm watching the latest one. But the funniest one that I've ever seen from her is when she was doing the LaCroix, uh, the LaCroix drinks. Um, because if you've ever had LaCroix, I think there are mixed reviews about LaCroix. Like to me, it just tastes like nothing. It tastes like the essence or it's like you definitely smell something. And then when you taste, you taste nothing. But I think some people would beg to differ. So anyway, her review of LaCroix the first one she did the first installment the other ones are good too but the very first one hilarious we'll be putting down that link anyway yes so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pinning these dudes are pinning haha <laughs> look at that Joanne box back there I'm gonna open that later um but yeah this is this is me pinning yep and just taking a break <sighs> from all the numbers on the screen I think I'm reaching a good stopping point for the night. So these are the pieces that I've that I've cut out and have marked up already. And any of the interfacing for those pieces I've finished. Um, just cut out the other leg and the belt, but I haven't marked these up yet. So that's why I just still have them here. And um, let's see, I have about this is about as much fabric as I have left which actually I thought I would have more than this. So it's probably a good thing that I'm going to be using my scraps for the rest of it. But as, like I, at this point, I only need it for um, these two pieces. So not bad. Uh, then this is a lining pocket lining piece got stuff everywhere and <laughs> these pockets um and what is this is there... belt loops yeah so oh and the 
under collar. All these things are gonna be the scrap fabrics, except for that. I'll use a, a cotton I have, um, but these are gonna be like the denim scraps that I've decided that I'm gonna be using. I mean, believe me, I, you know, for what it's worth, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot, but I just, just realized that by this time you see this video, you know, it'll be Sunday and the next one, the following a Sunday, I will have had to be done. It's like I know the dates, but I'm I'm still forgetting it's like 2024. So whatever. See you tomorrow. Well, it actually turns out I didn't have as much scrap denim as I thought, so that's okay. Uh, this is actually leftover fabric from one of my last project so it's a kind of a thinner denim but that's it's a like a tinsel twill something like that but denim nonetheless but lighter weight so this is the under collar this is the belt loops um one of the front pockets i think this is the breast pocket and since i kind of ran out um I'm using the main fabric for the back pockets. I really wanted to highlight this part because I was so happy that I could just use my rotary cutter because it was so textured on the back that cutting out all the other pieces I had to use my scissors and it was not fun. So I have one more thing left to cut out before I had all my pieces prepped and ready. Um, it's just the hip pocket lining. It's just this piece. Um, and I was gonna do like, you know, I was looking through my stash. I have African wax print and all these like nice cottons. But I think I'm just gonna be, I'm just, I'm just gonna be simple, and just go kind of with the denim theme. It's funny because like, usually I'm going through the painstaking process of like ironing everything, blah blah. But girl, when I tell you this lining, I was like, it's a lining. We don't care today. I was just so happy that I finally <laughs> figured out everything. I, I'm happy with the patchwork choices. I'm happy with the fact that like the scrap fabric that I did have was like just enough. All right, cool, cool. So all the pieces are cut now. All of that is done. Everything is pretty much marked. Yeah, so now this week I'm just gonna be focusing on just the assembly of everything and now it's time to edit this video so thank you i'll say in advance thank you for watching and i'll see you next sunday i'll let you know how it went at dc frocktails